Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. I've got a lot of stuff in the review area here, but don't worry, we'll clear it out shortly. Today, we're going to be doing another review. So, one of my most anticipated Rainbow High dolls ever has recently released, and today I went to Target and I found her, as well as a bunch of other stuff, but I'm not gonna do a haul. I wanted to, but meh. So instead, we're going to be doing a review of Runway Jade. It's Runway Jade. She's here. She's real. I have wanted this to be a doll for years. Ever since we first saw her in the runway, I've been like, yep, I need a doll of that jade immediately. And it's finally happened. Of course, they changed the name of the line to Fantastic Fashion. I would have rather these just been called the Runway Dolls. I feel like Runway was a fine title for the line, but Fantastic Fashion? Sure, why not? So she has a special sticker down here that says that her dress glows in the dark, namely the, um, lightning bolt bits, which I think that's cool. I don't think I'm capable of showing you that because for some reason my camera just never picks up on things glowing in the dark. I just choked on nothing. But yeah, my camera just doesn't pick up on things that glow in the dark, but hopefully someone else is able to provide pictures of it. Hopefully. Anyway, with all that rambling out of the way, let's begin with the review. So first of all, I really like the boxes that they designed for this line. They're just kind of special and deluxe feeling. I was shopping with my mom because we like to go to stores together because she's the only doll collector in my area. And she, even my mom said that the dolls, like the boxes looked really nice. I actually only saw three jades at the store and the first two that I initially saw in the aisle had their own issues with the face. Uh, this is the best one that I found and I actually found her sitting on a clearance rack. Um, all I could think was that somebody decided to leave her and come back for her, or they were trying to, like, hide her there, and I took it from them. Which, if that's the case, uh, you can have one of the wonky ones, dude. I need the perfect lipstick. The other ones all had smudged lipstick, but this one's, like, perfect. I did notice that her fingernails seems to be painted, though. And not just, like, her fingernail. It looks like they painted her finger. That's fine. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> um... Yeah, I'm excited to get everything out and look at it all individually. I think I'm going to dress one of my alternate jades in this outfit, just not this one. Because I do have an extra jade that I could put on the outfit. Put the outfit on. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. On the side, we can see that she's a cosmetology focus. And on the back of the box, we of course have all the artworks of the other dolls in the set. With Jade being in the middle where she belongs, because let's face it, she's the best doll of the line. But of course, the real reason she's standing there just happens to be because of the order of the rainbow, because they're standing in rainbow order with, you know, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. And then Amaya's here too, I guess. This semester's Project Rainbow Fashion Competition is original, innovative, and totally fabulous. That's, that's all it says. <laughs> that's all it says. So yeah, nothing on this side of the box, but there are a couple little, like, uh, customized elements here like there's a lightning bolt and there's like a pin and some chains up here there's some chains and pins as well that's just what they chose for jade it's cool so with everything said let's unbox her i'm actually not sure where to start with unboxing her i'm just gonna assume that we should cut the tape around the window here maybe yeah uh so this is a completely new box design as i mentioned so we're figuring this out together uh, pray for me, I guess. Wish me luck. Just gonna start slicing. Is this, like, just here for no reason? Because this isn't coming out. Okay, um... Okay, it's from the side. It was from the side. Why did I assume it would be from the front? Why was there even tape in the front, dude? They're just trying to mislead me at this point. MGA knows that they're embarrassing me on camera. It's much easier when I lay the box down. Okay, so that came out first, and um, I think I can pull Jade out as well. Yeah, yeah, the actual doll comes out as well. Cool. <laughs> uh, so this is pretty cute. It looks like a bit of like a, like she's on the catwalk on the runway. So, um, cool. So, yeah. I definitely want to get another one of this doll once she's on sale and about to leave stores so I can keep her in the box. So uh, let's look at her big, shiny, greasy forehead. Yeah, her makeup is gorgeous. I do think I got a really good one here. Like, um, the eyeliner isn't as thick on this eye, so it's like the lower liner is thicker on this side, but it looks really good to me. God, Jade is just so pretty. 
I mean, her lips do seem to have like one minor flaw, but it just looks like an empty spot that I could easily fill in on her lip, like right up here. Do you see it? Like it's right next to my nail. Yeah, I can touch that up. So yeah, she looks pretty good. Now it's, uh, oop, ooh. It's crunchy, her hair is crunchy. Uh, it's just in a ponytail, so that should be easy to wash and put back into its proper style. All right, let's start freeing her. Okay, so her nails are actually pretty well painted overall. Oh, no, they're not. Painted her fingers. They barely got her nails. They painted her fingers. <laughs> what did they do to you? I wasn't looking at the nails. Honestly, I was more concerned with the face and I wouldn't have had it any other way. I just wanted the best jade face that I could get. And this was the best that they had in the store. Okay, her eyebrows are a little fucked. I'm not taking her back to the store. I'm happy with her. I'm fine with it. Okay, um... Oh yeah, there is a lot of packaging holding this in place. Okay. Um... Just a couple quick snips here and there, if I could just... Uh, this is like a really, um... It's a pretty hard plastic, I would say. Like, it's a little malleable, like you can kind of push it around, but... Overall, it seems to keep its shape very well. I thought it would feel like hot glue, like dried hot glue. It doesn't. Okay, so fresh out of box, uh, one thing, the clip adjustment, the clip placement needs to be adjusted for sure because it is not show accurate whatsoever. It kind of feels like they just put all the clips on her randomly. So I'm definitely going to adjust that as fits, but oh my God, it is so amazing to hold this doll in my hand. <laughs> Oh, I love her so much. I don't even care that she was 35 bucks. I feel like that's that's a fair price for her. That's a fair price. That's a good price. Like, I would pay 35 bucks again to own another one of her. And I will. So on this piece here, we've got this notebook, which seems to have little versions, like little early versions of her design, but they look pretty final for the most part, except for this one. This one is interesting with the long gown. I kind of like it, kind of dig that. Uh, we've got her second outfit in here as well, which is on a makeshift mannequin, unfortunately not a real one. And on the very back is where the rest of her stuff is, including her doll stand. So yeah, she does also come with a brush. It was just in the other part of her packaging. Now alongside her stand was this little thing that explains how her glow-in-the-dark dress works. It just says to hold the dress in, a, in the light for a few minutes and then place it in a dark room. And you can place it under a lamp or flashlight directly underneath it for the best results. Only the dress will glow in the dark. It has a lengthy but unlim but limited lifespan. Do not store the dress in direct sunlight for extended periods of time. Long exposure to sunlight may deactivate the glow in the dark feature. So don't don't leave it in the in the light for too long. You're gonna you're gonna ruin it. You're gonna fuck it up. How, how dare you? All right. So here is Jade out of the box. She is just gorgeous. <laughs> Again, I cannot express how excited I was for this doll to release and how happy I am that she's finally here. Her neck articulation is good, as is like every other Rainbow High dolls at this point. It's just normal for them. I don't know why I made a deal about that. I reached, I rewatched one of my old Rainbow High reviews and I just remembered that they didn't do that before. So I guess I'm just, yeah guys, look, she can do this. Isn't that so cool? Her earrings are like, just kind of like long chains with stars in them, St a star here and a lightning bolt at the very bottom. And it's the same on both sides. Star at the top, lightning bolt at the bottom, and just like kind of like a gem stud in her ear. Her ear looks weirdly shiny. It's strange. Oh, her eyeshadow is really cool. I really like the lightning bolt in her eyeliner. It's really cool. So yeah, Jade's hair is styled up in a ponytail and unfortunately does have some product in it. Thankfully, it's not that much. A lot of her hair is product free, but there is like this big section here that just kind of has some in it. So her hair will require some washing out of box. I know there are people who wash their doll's hair no matter what, and I am usually one of those people, but sometimes I don't if they don't need it. Like in series three of Rainbow High, none of my series three dolls needed it because none of them had any product in their hair. So yeah. She's got really nice boots as well. Uh, they're a little hard to see behind this piece. So this lightning bolt piece is attached by a number of clasps in the back that just kind of click together. So 
it's easily removable. Here is Jade's still gorgeous dress behind the lightning bolts. It has a bunch of stars and lightning bolts hanging off of it, all of which can be flipped into the proper position if you just kind of kind of push down on them. Yeah. There's lightning bowls and stars. And then we get to her boots, which again are very nice. They're fully fabric. They have like real like eyes that are threaded through with like laces. So they're really laced up. It's like really nice. There's even like this buckle here around the back. These shoes are just gorgeous. I love them so much. I almost want to buy a second doll just for the shoes. And also because her second outfit needs a pair of shoes and she didn't come with one. Uh, by the way, speaking of her second outfit, this skirt is very well made. They used, like, real zippers here. I mean, like, the actual zipper part. There's it, They don't actually zip and unzip. These are fake zippers themselves. But, like, this part here is real, you know? It's actually stitched in. You can see it through the other side of the skirt. See? It's cool. It's a very nicely, intricately made piece. And her hoodie is very cute, but I wish this chain was real because it's something that she actually wears in the show. So it would be nice to have the option to put that on your basic doll of her if you desire. But yeah, overall, very nicely made hoodie and a very nicely made skirt. Her uh, clips have words on them. This one here says boss. This one on the side says rainbow. And underneath her hair, there is actually another one that says bad. Just bad. <laughs> This doll is very detailed. There's a lot going on with her, and I love all of it. I even love her giant forehead, her giant, massive forehead that you could play a game of tic-tac-toe on. So I've brought in my Basic Jade to model the second outfit. Obviously these are from the actual Basic Jade. I couldn't give her these shoes because I only have one pair, but it's a very cute outfit. It's basic, but it gets the job done. So with that said, that's everything this doll comes with forgot about this. Uh, she has this cute little rainbow high design notebook which has actual springs on it to hold it open or to shut it, and this little tiny pencil that you can pretend she's holding and writing with. Just the design book. It's very cute. It's a very cute piece. It's very basic, but it's cute. Okay, that's everything. Now that's everything, yeah. Also, I recommend washing this in cold water using some detergent and stuff just to get out any excess, like, coloring because pieces like this can stain. I don't intend to leave the doll dressed in this just because I'm worried about it staining her body. You could try wrapping her body in plastic wrap or something, like whatever you think might prevent it. Just, um, yeah, just be careful with that hoodie because chances are that will stain your doll if left on for like long periods of time. So yeah, in short, Runway Jade is definitely the best of the line and I love her with all my heart. And I, I want to leave her in this outfit. I just have to wash that first, like I said. So yeah, as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!